Are your palms sweaty? Knees weak? Arms heavy? No. Vomit on your sweater already? Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he was no, you know what ready I... to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd rose so loud. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Ian, it's I'm Corbin. Ajmola, Ajmola. And you can follow us on Instagram and Instagram Twitter, and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Also, some Patreon follow on official Twitter account. Ring the bell. Hello, notification squad. Bang. And oh, today uh, we are reacting to a trailer. Yeah. It's called Gurgreon. Corbinized. Gur. <laughs> Gayon. Gorgayon. Gor <laughs> no, no, no. The beginning one was just fine. Uh, but it has our lovely friend, um, Pankaj Tripathi. How Tripathi. I think we're saying his name wrong. How do you actually say that? His last name? Yeah, I think every single time we say it, people say we're saying it wrong. Hey, no one's ever told me. If they have, I've missed that. I thought it was... If it's not Tripathi, maybe it's Tripathi. Or Tripathi. Uh, well, let us know. Uh, but this, uh, the notes I got were one of the best performances by Tripathi. Uh, mm. A brooding crime thriller in which a kidnap kidnapping exposes the um, sibling jealousy and murder and and the murderous past that plagued a property Mughal's clan. Tripathi delivers a classy performance. The film bears the stamp of cinematic craftsmen who. Hold on. Yeah, wake me up when you're done. <laughs> it it cut off and it's not letting me see anymore. All right. Well, it has tripathy that has me interested enough. <laughs> I agree. I'm with you wholeheartedly. If you guys didn't know, tripathy, one of our favorite actors. Yep. He's phenomenal, and we're very excited that he's uh, in that new movie with. Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, yeah. No, he's one of those actors that, for everything we've seen him in, and it's usually been smaller supporting things, but, but he's never done bad work. Mm. It's usually amazing work. All right, three, yeah. two, one, go. What the? Oh, sh Wow. What the heck? Hey! What? What's this? Absolutely interested. That looks good. Um, I, I jumped at the screen because I recognized that actress. She was just on frame for a second. And I don't know if it's Gangs of Wasoper or Sacred Games. 
Um, she uh, plays somebody's wife. I want to say she, it, it's one of the two. Anyway, uh, yeah, that looks... I mean, with him in it and a heavy drama crime kind of thing, pfft, all day long, man. Came out in 2016 based on true events of the story that revolves around a kidnapping, um, which a family has to come to know from a midnight call. Uh, directed by Shankar Raman, who directed... What? Okay, no. Said he directed Frozen, but he was a cinematographer. Oh, it was different Frozen. <laughs> I was going to say, the Frozen or just another Frozen? I was like, what? <laughs> uh, let's see. The girl... There was, Yeah, she was in Sacred Games, right? You were correct. Sacred Games, I thought so. Yeah, good call. Uh, I think we've seen her in other stuff, too. I think so, too, but the primary place I remember seeing her was Sacred Games. She looks familiar. Yeah. Um, and then there was a guy from... Piku, the main guy, he was in Piku apparently. Interesting. Uh, Akshay Oberoi, him who plays yeah. Nikki uh, with. Yeah, he was apparently in Piku. Oh yeah, it says he was in Piku. Also, look huh. at the run. Look at the runtime. What's it at? Let me go back. One oh seven. I can't. I can't. Oh, <laughs> dang! <laughs> That's like just over an hour and a half. Yeah, you know what? It feels. It is. That's like a. You know, we had mentioned this when we were talking to um, Anurag, the, 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 uh, his, the digestibility of his films for Western audiences. Um, obviously, the runtime on Gangs isn't the digestibility part of it, but uh, his runtimes for Ugly and uh, for Raman Rag of 2.0 were yeah. digestible. Yeah. So this feels like it has that kind of a, a feel to it, you know. Yeah, it looked really, really good. I one Tripathy, if it's if if it's a great performance with him, I'll, I will 100 percent watch it. Uh, 100. percent He he's up there with Irfan and and and, and Nawaz and all those actors who are just yep. at the cream of the crop. And he, he's cream also very he's also very similar to me in terms of an Irfan. He was like an Irfan and a Brando almost because obviously a lot of times the way his voice is, he talks like. He talks down here, like, but with like a very yeah. smooth, his smooth voice. But he's very effortless, similar to Irfan. Like exactly. everything he, he has, does, it's almost like it's almost like a throwaway. That's a great comparison, Corbin. He, he Irfan has he has the um, effortlessness of Irfan, but what mm. Irfan doesn't convey um, is a is a um, is a sense of fiery danger simmering under the surface all the time. Oh yeah, this guy uh, has that. That he has that. All, unless he's doing a comedy, every role he's in, I'm all, he's got he does have a Brando esque kind of at any minute this guy could flip a switch. Yeah, he, he's got that simmer going on underneath. Yeah, yeah, I, he's, I, he's I, absolutely love him. I love it. I love it. I, yeah. I, if you guys didn't, I, if you're new, you don't know, I guess. But if you've been around you a while, our favorite types of actors are ones that obviously you can't see working. And so exactly, if, if we say somebody is effortless, that's such a huge compliment because. You, if especially, I know, I don't know if it's obviously I can't see outside of an actor's eyes because that's who I am. Um, but I can see people working if they're not an experienced actor, if I either, yeah, India, Hollywood, wherever you know that they've yeah. seen something or done something that's worked before and they're yep. doing it again, and uh, you can tell they're not really in it. Uh, and so the ones that impress us are the ones that it's like, I, I can't. It's this is you like Nawaz like Irfan yeah. like like Ranveer some he does that in a lot of his roles too, um, like he, when he, what, what was it uh, Padmavat when he was in Padmavat he was in that character and he he did so so well I love that character, uh, but those are those type of actors that we love the ones that you just they just get engulfed in their character and you can't tell that they're that they're the actor anymore. Yeah, and it's one of the reasons why Robin Williams impressed me so much, and I feel like Robin was one of the more underrated dramatic actors, even though he's an Oscar winner for Good Will Hunting. 100%. Um, it's, it's a shame so many people didn't like um, One Hour Photo because it was so antithetical to what they know about Robin. And it's a shame because I think that's one of Robin's greatest performances is one hour photo. And it, what boggles my mind is remember uh, referring to Anya Akashyap again. He had said that uh, Nawaz doesn't have much of a presence when you meet him in person, but on screen he's massive. Uh -huh. uh, 
Robin did the opposite. Mm -hmm. Robin was a freaking bull in a china shop in person. Massive, huge personality that he could bring down to this on screen. Yeah. Which which has been my biggest challenge, not just as a theater actor, but I'm just such a big person. I'm such a big over the top. Uh, I'm loud. I make big gestures. I do silly over the top things as a normal part of my behavior. The most difficult thing to do and not and not do it because you're doing it for camera, because the minute you know you're doing it for camera, you're acting and you suck and you won't be believable. It's yeah. genuinely being small without thinking about the smallness and he's a he's fantastic at that and he's also we've seen him in a couple comedies he's yes funny he's great <laughs> he's really funny and so he he's really really impressive because i i mean i know i haven't seen everything nawaz has done but i haven't seen nawaz do a comedy yet no uh, it's another thing he reminds me again of another heavyweight dramatic actor uh, reminds me a lot of de niro who has that simmering danger but can also do comedy as well. So yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to watch it. Love it. Let us know down below. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.